yeah. every single time. Mike is bugging him off. Chasing him around he's the ring. He's bugging him off. And he's chasing him He's lost his head. The whole man is fighting the big man. Some people build this as David versus Goliath. I said it was JMX versus Mike Fox. <laughs> and that was a good overhand right from JMX there. But what JMX has got to do here is land that jab, use the distance, pick him apart. put JMX on the back foot, but now that back foot is springing him back at Everything Mike Fox. Slowed down. Mike on the side tonight, watching nervously. Oh. This is just repeat. And Mike comes back, but he's caught again. Mike needs to get that left hand up. End of round one. It's fair to say the aggression of JMX there probably won out. I respect both deep. fighters going out there with that aggression. Deep breaths by Mike. Yeah. And his Come trainer on. is not happy. What are you doing? He's really up. not happy. Uh, wow, they're actually changing. This trainer is very annoyed. He's saying, keep that left hand up. Because he's going to keep landing on you over and over again if he does. We're seeing pictures, though, now of the initial storm that he did bring to JMX. It just shows if you fight JMX aggressively, he sort of doesn't handle it very well. No, he doesn't handle it being attacked. He's normally the attacker on YouTube, yeah. and now he's the attacker in the yeah. ring as well. What can Mike Fox do? Everyone on Mike Fox's side here in the arena, they want to see Mike Fox land a big punch. That's all we want to see. Yeah. The gloves there from JMX. He comes straight out. But Mike oh, is, no, no, is wrestling. Not allowed Double leg take down. Can we see some MMA today? You might see a little MMA. Come on, Mike. Get that head Mike has got a cracking head of hair. That, that right hand is landing again and again and again. Oh, and it's them in the corner. Don't worry Mike, about it, Mike needs to, I think Whoa. Mike needs to just go for that right hand. Pushing is not really how you win a boxing fight. He's struggling, bless him. He's holding on. Mike's trying to grab, of course, with JMX here. He Mike needs to start punching high, punching hard. JMX. Mike needs to start throwing, and he throws. Oh. Right hand by Mike, but he's caught again. He needs to return. JMX. And that was a hell of a shot by JMX. Mike and he's knocked down. down. Referee Gareth Morris counting into his face. Mike's got to get his hands back we up. Gonna, we're going to have a, a fight called. Nervously from the side. Mike is nodding. He's saying, I'm we're good to go. And he fights on. Of course, JMX has got the height advantage as well. Not only the reach, but the height as everything. well. Everything's in his favour. Weight, height, reach, everything. Mike is not throwing. Mike just needs to start throwing punches. End of round two. Mike's trainers need to get in there quick, and they need to have some pretty stern words with him, words of encouragement, which are going to help him get through round three. Just make this respectable. Do you think that's possible? 
possible. So I just heard his trainer. Say, can't break, can't break, can't break tra a trainer is literally shouting, fighting, fighting, fighting. I think it's good advice though because I, you can see in the first 20 seconds. Didn't really have an answer for it, did I? Ten seconds. I'm a little worried for my box in this final round. I gotta say. Because I just hope it's not a a bad one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The, Mike's brave to get into this ring with JMX. So JMX is seconds out. You're, third talk, you're talking a twenty round. pound difference again. Absolutely. Again. Yeah. Referee, just stopping you just for a second. JMX is desperate to get out of here. He smells blood. He sees weakness. He's ready to pounce. Looking into his eye there, Mike Fox, the one here. Obviously, if you get hit massively in the eye, for the first time you're probably going to be attacked by someone like JMX. But they're not pros, they're yeah. just regular guys who make YouTube videos for a living, you know what I mean? You they're not designed for this sort of thing. You've got to protect I these I think guys. we're going to wave this off. Yeah, we probably are. Yeah. Looks as no. Oh, wait. No, wow. we are underway. Incredible. JMX goes in for the Fox. kill again. The lad's got hot. Yeah. Wow. And he, no, and he's going for it now. They've locked up. And we're going, we're going to see a break. Ref. We've got a break by the ref. The referee's going to hold That was a good body shot by JMX. Tuck of the head. And he's bullying him. He's bullying him. And Mike is in the corner. It's time to wave this off. Rightly so. That was done. Credit to JMX uh, there. JMX's fight. corner celebrate as if this was an equal fight. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations, yeah. JMX. You just won what was a massively weighted fight. But credit to Mike Fox, who stepped into the ring, was more than brave enough to go up against him. I've got a lot of respect for both fighters out there. Uh, uh, lo lost for words there because yeah. we both know what a big night this was for Mike. For Mike. Well, I think we're about to see it could still be a big night. Yeah. Bear with me. Yeah. Bear with us. is called into the centre of the ring now. Well, I'm sure you'll agree, both boxers yeah. came in there to give it their all. They Real did respect give it 100%. Mike. Great They're night for him. Winner. Real respect. Now, I'm about to give you that formal decision. After one minute, 14 seconds of the third round. Give it up for Jim! Now they're in here embracing. That's what the sport of boxing is all about. Mike's Fox yeah? steps it's about out. bringing people together, dealing with a conflict dispute, and then when these guys walk out, the walls are to scale. One's large, one's small, and then if we can get that on the screen. Great sense of humour there from well, Mike guys, Fox. Guys, we're going to ask you to uh, make your way outside now for an interview with Jordy. Please make your way outside. Big round of applause for both boxers. Jordy's going to take you through JMX's interview first, and then he'll take you through Mike Fox's interview as well. Just moments away. KSI versus J. How did it feel, Punch? Um, I don't know. I don't think I enjoyed it, to be honest. I want to first off say massive respect to Mike for even taking the fight and going through with it. I know even though he didn't win today, he's proved massive amounts to us. To himself, to himself, like everyone going through this whole process has. How, is there anyone you want to thank who's helped you across this process? Yes, yes. I want to my mum, my dad, Tammy. My mum didn't even watch this because she was scared I was going to be up. Yeah. But yeah. So just thank you to everyone. We've got Mike here. Mike, is there someone that you want to thank tonight? Honestly, I don't have the first one that I thought I could do it, but yeah, I'd just like to thank uh, fucking Vidal, where's uh, Dida, my PT, and my beautiful girlfriend. Can we get your girlfriend over here? Right, I'm knackered, you know. Wait, where's my man? The f***ing fuck right camera, man. Fuck. Get in the ring. Wait, I love you. <laughs> fucking hell, man. And, <laughs> wait, I don't think I can say this with a serious face, but... Touch a moment there for Mike Fox, who proposes to his girlfriend. I think we can all say a big well done to Mike Fox. Thank you, man. 
Fifth, fifth. Sweet moment between these two. Very, very special moment there for Mike Cox. Uh, I've got Mike Strode over here, so if anyone wants it, that's going. I think not really dark things going on. Nice to see some happy people. Mike being congratulated by everyone around him there. Jordy steps back down. It's just facilitating dreams like that that you do on a daily basis, Brian. This is what I do, Lawrence. Each other, because all your days are just as good. Full stuff. Genuinely, uh, that was a very touching moment for the entire arena. In the arena there. I've never been a part of anything like that before. It's fair to say that the medical team may now need to pay attention to both those guys. I, I really feel like, um, in my career, like, I've had some weird moments, and just one of those moments that's like... Emotional. I was quite emotional there, genuinely. I was saying there's very few sort of uh, moments on YouTube. A lot of them look like dark banterous. That was just a very sweet moment with a, a guy sort of stepping up and proposing to... That's kind of why we were... <laughs> wow. <laughs> we were hoping Mike wouldn't <laughs> lose because I was like... I, I just felt so attached to the lad after what he said. He was like, I love me girlfriend. I'm going to propose. You've seen me beaten down to an absolute pulp by a bigger <laughs> man. Will you marry me? If she me? says yes to you and you look like that, yeah. she's a keeper. She deserves I swear you to God. at your best if she get, takes you at your worst. Very sweet moments. Everyone now ringside just piling in uh, to congratulate the happy couple and, of course, uh, congratulate the, the, the victorious JMX. Although a lot more people crowding around Mike. What, what a reaction by the crowd, though. Yeah. What a reaction. And a lot of young teenage girls in the, in the arena thinking, I wish my friend could do that. I wish my boyfriend had 1.2 million subscribers. Oh, there's Joe. Just Joe's just going through his mind at the moment, thinking, getting it in the right place. I think, in, in my personal experience in fighting, you want to be as calm as possible, as cold as possible. The less emotion, the better, because you're thinking critically, logically, you're not going to make the mistakes of an emotional man. You see people getting out of, um, there's JJ there. JJ receiving a lot of boots I like those shorts, the arena. Though. I like those shorts. You see people... Making irrational decisions when they're emotional. That's not what you want to do. And we're now seeing... We Can then Big TG get another drink, please? Live photos, uh, live, live pictures that we're seeing from backstage. The trainer who brought out uh, both my... Now, as a wrestling fan... We've got a heavyweight boxer right now. Wow. Yeah. Can we have a few words from you, mate? Promoters are not selling this out. Uh, it's just, this is great. This is great. Everybody right now wants to be a boxer. You know, the last time this happened is when Rocky came out. I'm talking about in the 60s. Wow. What a night. All the big boxing faces are here. All the big YouTube faces are here. Derek Chisora, man. I mean, you... We've got so many celebs in attendance here. I don't think we'd see someone from boxing of sort of that caliber. Do you know what I mean? I think he might be presenting the belt to right, the I winner. understand. Okay, and that that's leads me on perfectly to the fact that there is a belt ringside right now. They're, they're going to be... It's beautiful. It, it's a YouTube belt. I got a photograph with it earlier because I was like... I think the pictures of Joe Weller and KSI have been piped up around the stadium. One thing that's going to happen, which is a personal um, thrill for me today, one of my videos is going to be played tonight before the main event. Now, you see a lot of zeros next to your video, and you sort of imagine people watching your videos, but Guy who's worked incredibly hard on a video with you. You were the director of this video, he was the editor so of it. Shout out, has gone into this. Shout out um, to my mate. He was 15 years old wow. who edited this video. They're not going to be able to show it um, on the stream, unfortunately, but I'm sure most people have probably seen the highlight or I made um, the preview. The thing is, if you haven't, then you can head over to True Geordie's <laughs> channel, hit subscribe, and of course, catch the video. I hit 700,000k today, so. 
Rugby Arena live at what looks like Tommy a... Chisel's looking sharp tonight, by the he way. He certainly is. He's Dicky trying to... Bow tie, and he... I mean, literally, he is James Bond right now. Could be the next James Bond. He could. He should be. Uh, they need... Could and should. Yeah. Uh, He's my choice. If James Bond was a borrower... That's who it would be. No, he isn't the tallest guy, but he, I think he's an all-out action star. Pretty cool, good guy. Uh, you can see the arena live. There are camera phones being held up absolutely Toby. everywhere. Toby comes on, through. On commentary. Wow. So, you're... ...for both of them. They both worked really hard, and... Um, like, this is it. This is it, really. I'm, I'm excited, I'm nervous. So many emotions. Um, I hope there's no serious injuries, but I'd like to see a knockout, for real. Wow. Obviously, I'm rooting for JJ, but i got nothing against Joe, nothing but love for the guy, so best of luck to both of them. Look Cheers, you, you look, too, suited you up, look like the new James Bond, man. You look, you're killing it. Killing it. Legend. Wow. Well, a uh, very sharp-looking uh, set of YouTubers in the house. And he's right, I do look bloody good. Yeah, that's suit. right. Yeah, that's Thanks very much. Shout out to the cameraman up there. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you. Working hard, Evan. Well, working almost as hard as our camera right down here. Oh, this guy is actually working quite hard. Um, but yeah, I am loving the fact that there are so many friends. We. This is the difference between a, a heavyweight boxing behind. match or, or a, you know, like any other boxing match. Because of these YouTube videos. Yeah. In, in other fights, they're just faces. Oh yeah, there's his wife, there's his girlfriend, whatever. We don't know them. We know everything about these guys. We know if one of those hits the deck, we know exactly. Thanks, Tom. Thanks. Thanks. Shout out. Uh, you see, wow, people There's down. She looks so much like her, by you the way. You see there the happy new fiance of Mike Fox there? Sadly, I don't know. Delighted. Uh, Keemstar like in attendance. Oh. Go for it. Keemstar looks like a rock star. Tom Hill there stepping through. Wow. Big name. I. I I'm also seeing. I'm seeing someone who's dressed in reflective sunglasses. Thank you, tax men. A lot of very well dressed people in the arena tonight. Even the kids are well dressed here this evening. You, the, that camera's actually incredibly close to us. You see the referee there. Mr. Morris, as I'm going to call him this evening, taking a sip of water before he steps Good back. Good to see arena. Josh there. Fit and healthy. I called up Jake earlier, I'm sorry about that. He looks good though. Yeah, I'm a horrible person, I'm a terrible guy. No. He's promoting himself. But you know we don't really care about that. We're doing pretty good in life. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> We've got a good seat tonight, haven't we? We've got the best seats in the house. No, and we're we hoping have to bring that to life for everyone at home. Right? We just made a podcast one day and I was like, think this will go well, don't worry about that. People are like, this will never take off. Two hours watching you will never work. Guess what? We were right. Just saying. Just saying. The girls especially, they love big JW. Yeah. Joe Weller, of course, has built a massive fan base of uh, young women who look up to a guy who is respectful towards girls, who's... A, a boyfriend, Baby whatever, if you're a girl, you know. Um, but I have to say, what, what I like about Joe... What I connect with, why people might say, why do you have a? Good I think that is that's the core of Joe Weller, a, a lad with good values, a lad, uh, you know. And has he made mistakes? Yes, we all have. But at the core of him is a good human being. And on JJ, I just want to tell some stories. Then he said, "Are you going to be here tomorrow?" The kid said to JJ, "No, I can't afford to stay till tomorrow." JJ pulls out his wallet, he goes, well, how much do you need to stay an extra day? Gives him the cash right out of his own wallet. That is the generosity that this lad has shown. We've all seen... He's not a bad person. Yeah, and it's easy to, to want to paint him that as that, but he isn't. the character that he cultivates on his channel. JJ didn't owe me nothing when I met him. I was just a guy... To come and do a podcast for me didn't mean nothing. Yeah. He is a, a nice guy, you know. He 
Joe's side, whether you're on Joe's side, whether you're on JJ's side, a lot of people buy into them. A lot of people love these guys. This isn't a good guy versus bad guy, as people are making out. It's two complex individuals who are different people in different situations. If you catch these kids in a nightclub, they're not the same person they are uh, having Sunday dinner. And occasionally, the nightclub version of these lads comes out on camera and mainstream. They're both full of respect. JJ told us stories. JJ told us stories on our first podcast about how. Do you want to work with Will? Stay there, Will. About how you know he let his mother down and she paid tuition for him to go to school. I just want to get a few. So before the fight, yeah, you're you're sort of better friends with JJ, I would say. Um, yeah, closer, yeah. Kind of edging, JJ, yeah. yeah. How are you feeling? The two lads are going to come out and swing. I, so I was, as this night's gone on, I was very excited, and then seeing Max get dropped, it makes it real. It's in like I saw that and I'm like, oh. I missed that. I went and got a pipe. I came back and he said, like, I proposed. And I was like, hang on, no, this is some Can sort I of fact, isn't it? That is, that's the best excuse for missing that moment. Really. <laughs> but, however. I was like, oh, so I'm on some sort of video now, aren't I still? <laughs> so what do you what are you thinking? Have you got a prediction before this fight? I know it's difficult because we haven't I, seen it. Honestly, JJ's confidence rubbed off on me. Yeah. I just, I, I, I just, I feel like I, I fully bought into it. I don't know if he sold me a dream or not, but I fully bought into the yeah. way. I, I must admit, his confidence is unbelievable. Uh, it's yeah, it's, it rubs off. I was at the press conference. I looked across, and he was dissing Joe. And Joe was staying silent. Joe, that was what I was impressed with Joe with yesterday. Because if you look at October, November, whenever upload was, he had Joe. Like, well, they were. If you watch it back, they were so engaged with each other. Whereas Joe wasn't giving them the time of day yesterday. Which, if you look at, if you were to say Joe's big weakness, maybe you would have said the mental, mental six months. Yeah. Right. And he. Played in the arena. We're just going to give it a second. Joe's friends are in the house. 
True Geordie is alongside me and it is just seconds away from the biggest YouTube event of the year. Nothing will top this in 2018 and you'll struggle to top it in the years afterwards. These two guys have got serious... Everyone is not happy. Ten minutes? We are wow. Ten minutes away. They wanted it now. They Look, did. dude, I've got to say it. Yeah, that was an emotional moment. For it you was, right? yeah, because I love YouTube. I put everything I got into my videos. Glassy eyed. And to have so many people watch one, you know, you're a, you're a filmmaker. You know? That was a real proud moment. And, um, the arena I just, feels ready now. The arena feels ready. Emotional, because, you know, when I started YouTube, being real, being totally honest with everyone right now, I really admired the work of JJ and Joe, and uh, I thought they were the best in the game. Um, I'm not saying it was the best video ever before anyone... No, he's getting... He thinks he's this See, or that. You're but, his laurels. but at the same time... Making people happy is what you want your videos to do. Absolutely, and that did make a lot of people excited, happy, nervous, excited. I like making people excited, Lawrence. Said excited twice, so, I mean, they're double excited. Seriously, there have been some big punches thrown tonight, but you ain't seen nothing yet. If you think that's boxing on YouTube... Big punches thrown tonight, but you ain't seen nothing yet. If you think that's boxing on YouTube... We're about to redesign everything that you thought you'd seen before. Joe Weller and KSI. Because basically, there's another boxing match going on tonight. Um, Promoted by Eddie Hearn, that is a serious boxing match. Eddie Hearn's a good guy. And no, no, that, nothing against Eddie. But, but this is going to do bigger numbers than that, and a lot of people will be annoyed by that. But I think this is a disgrace to boxing. Boxing will be made more popular by this event. You will get some young lads tomorrow waking up going, I want to try that. And that young lad might go off and discover Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, and the greats of boxing, and develop into a great fighter because of this event is it, is you know it's not professional as this may seem people need to just treat it for what it is i think it, it's definitely going to raise the popularity of the sport mainly exactly. because there's so many big faces in the house tonight there's so many people who are taking even a passing interest in this which could flower into an olympic gold this could happen represent i'm not even joking somewhere. we could have a kid here in the audience tonight or watching at home who looks at this the brain is spark and they think i want to try that are hard workers but equally youtube is a, is, a, is a luxury job we don't have to get up every month if you don't want to necessarily but when someone's going to kick your ass in six months then we have to get up every morning and they have been taught struggle and these two lads haven't known real struggle until this point but i think it's done them the world of good as someone who maybe did know a little bit more about struggle than these two yeah. i think that this is a testament to what some people avoid hard times. They, they want the comfort. They want the, the comfort zone of life where everything's easy it's kind of and nature. everything's comfortable. We all want that. But actually, what I think that this proves from the state of these two lads and how much they've developed as humans is actually getting out of your comfort zone is far more rewarding than sitting there on the couch and relaxing.
Big Fight is just minutes away. If you've just joined us, then welcome to KSI vs. Joe Weller, coming to you live from the Copper Box Arena in East London. It's a packed house tonight. There is not one seat which will not be filled in this building. And as we build up to the main event, which is two young guys who have trained for months and months now for this huge fight. The tension is building. Before we before we get the big fight underway, I know this is selfish, but I've got a mic. No one can take this. I just want to say a big thank you. 700,000 subscribers today. Every one of you lot who subscribed to me, thanks very much. Yeah. I know there's a lot of YouTubers in attendance. We're all grateful for our subscribers. We're seeing shots now of JJ looking very composed. Those very fun. same those, those very same shots are on the Jumbotron in the arena. Everyone's looking at those. There, you hear the reaction to Joe Weller. This, my friends, is no reaction to Joe Weller. This, my friends, is an arena full of Joe Weller fans. There's something good about that. Good guy, bad guy thing. I know they're playing the roles. But Joe uh, got out really well. Um, and I'm not even going to bullshit people into thinking it's, any different. It's also But it's fair to say that neither of those boxes have promised that to their opponents. I'll be shocked if they are fit enough to go to a decision. You and I. Oh, and Joe can then counter punch on that. There are so many different orientations so this fight can go under. Which this is an interesting thing to think about. For six threes, not JJ. JJ wanted shorter rounds, but JJ said in our podcast he made a mistake. He messed up. Oh, what a legend! Cheers. Someone just brought us a drink. Someone just brought a drink to the That's true right. Geordie. Wow. I mean, and I've been running. I've been running. My cardio is going to be better than Joe's. That shocked me because Joe. As JJ said in the press conference, was born in a gym, but the one thing I never got to say before Will and Eve. Brian's going to ask you a couple of questions. Zerka Josh, on the mic here, if you guys Josh, are home. You are one of the best friends JJ has. I can see you're shaking. I am unbelievably... Friends. Uh -huh. Had the chance of being knocked out in front of... 800 people online, thousands, hundreds of thousands of people online. I seen your video the other day, and I could tell that it was emotional for you. Yeah, like, I, I'm genu like, obviously, like, we're very close friends. I know, like, I've known for a very long time. I've seen him go from a boy to a man the yeah. whole time. Do this. So I, I've been seeing this, like, this la these lads have got a lot more to lose than they have to gain. Do you, do you feel that way a little bit? Because they... Really, they, they were superstars before this. And they yeah, be, for sure. But now, if anything bad happens here... Yeah. ...you recover from that, and I feel very confident in Jamie's ability to recover from that. I'm, I'm kind of more worried about Joe in that sense. Yeah. Like, I have nothing against Joe. Me, like, no, me and Joe like are Joe. fine. Yeah, like, we're amicable, there's nothing wrong there. So that situation there as a whole. This is about to be mad! Oh, we've got Cal Freezy! Oh, I'm going to peace out, but right. he's still... We've got Cal Freezy now, we're just going to... I've ever seen. I don't know. I'm friends with both. Mad. What are you saying? What are you saying, Simon? Tommy, mini mint now. I'm not going to lie. I feel sick. Yeah. I you are, so, you are so close to JJ. I feel so sick. He could I'm get hurt in this fight. How are you feeling about that? Well, you're making it worse. No, I've got you. Good. That's my job. Thank you for that. No, I'm friends with Joe as well, obviously. I know, but I know. No, I, I, yeah, I can't do that. I just think that, I think that... There isn't going to be an easy fight for either lad. No, absolutely not. Uh, when this is the boxing event ever to be presented in the UK, ever. and you are part of it. Ladies and gentlemen from Eastbourne. Now, to a remix of the XX series.
about to work the crowd with music. Are you ready? This guy's done DJing, he's done his own tracks before. This is going to be a mega mix of Joe Willett classics. Joe looks very calm, very calm right now, composed. It's fair to say that some of these... Parts the ropes for Joe Weller to work the crowd. Pacing around, raising his right hand. His team looked prepared, his team looked as focused as he do. Look at Joe. Look at him, he's loving it. Red shorts, emblazoned with a JD. said something to JJ. JJ replying and Joe laughing it off. Both, both laughing and smiling right now. But it's JJ oh, said this was going to be easy. Let's see how easy this is. I'm in the because a lot of talk. Joe is walking straight ahead. 
both these guys looking for a big punches early on. KSI JJ is landing. landing the jab early. JJ landing. This is Joe sitting back, waiting for and Kesai to open draw. himself up. And he lands! JJ is doing a good job in because being the, the general of this ring right now. He is owning where the... ...backing off now. Look at how aggressive he... JJ is, JJ is doing a good job though. Joe is... Uh, more of an offense from Joe. He's getting jabbed very badly here, and Joe's uh, wobbly. Joe's wobbly. JJ is finding it quite easy so far. Oh my god! Oh, and it's a big uppercut from JJ. That was a massive. Credit where it's due. JJ looks fantastic here. Yeah. He is beating Joe. As a Joe friend. And that is a hell of a right hook by JJ. Joe is. Lands a punch on the side of JJ's face. Dodging well, though, Joe, as well. That mouth is bloody. Kind of true. Yes. Joel comes out and takes the feet. JJ is already off his seat. JJ is ready to go. Joel not so quick off his seat. He needs to implement it better in this round if he has to have any success. Referee stopping this for some reason. There's the tie up here, yeah, broken by the referee. It's very simple rules in boxing. Wow, JJ big. picking up the. Joe is struggling, and that is a brilliant right hook by JJ. JJ moves. He's got to get inside, but in a way, that is his undoing here because he's coming straight forward. And JJ, oh, there's a good right hook by both. Big, it's deep breaths, and they're ready to go again. JJ just Joe looking for good body shot by JJ. JJ's varying his punches very well. There. They're right over us on this. JJ, and he's fighting him on the road. Pushing him off there. JJ not saying a word. Photographers are going mad, yeah. People asking the referee to intervene to step in. This was a hell of a pace this set. JJ with the head movement. Joe catches him. JJ answers him. Really putting on a decent show here. You see the bruises on JJ's back. Fair play. JJ lands. That jab, jab, such a long reach. Joe's bloody coming forward still though. That's good. Try adjusted. Oh, like Joe's struggling, and that was a wow. Taking serious headshots there. Team get into this the ring. Is the end of the round, and that wasn't a good way to end that round no. because we don't want to see that. A sour note to finish on there. How did that one make you feel? A little different there for Joe. Look at Joe and the way that he's. Thank you.
first one, but still not well enough. Second corner. I still give it two rounds to JJ. In my opinion, both so corners. Joe looks defiant at this point of what JJ is trying to implement. Big. Mouse got out and Joe stopped. JJ didn't, and there was. JJ landed a big punch, punch yeah. land after the stoppage. Joe right. is readying himself. JJ is coming back to the middle. Joe's coming back to the middle. JJ just feeling his opponent out. He JJ is doing so good. Standing count for Joe Weller here. JJ doing fantastically well. Joe struggling a lot here, but soldiering on like an absolute warrior. You've got to give him credit. Jay is reveling in it. Pounding his chest. It's a standing count. We have to end it soon. It has to be over. I would rather say this end. Joe is not throwing at this point. This is he wants to go further. You can see he's debating. Let me keep You've going. got to give credit to JJ. He has been fantastic here. He's been relentless. He's looking over to his... Some real, they're so happy for him. There's brotherly love there between these guys. As, as, as a friend of these two and as a fan of these two, I'd love to see a handshake yeah, absolutely. after this. I'd love that. Both great sportsmen in this one, Joe. The trainer, you can see how close they are, him and his trainer, they're like best mates on them. JJ said to you beforehand he'd continue this after this fight. He Derek Chisora is in the ring now. JJ embraces him. Well, that is going to be little solace with Joe Weller, who is second name champions around the arena. Ladies and gentlemen, we now go to our formal announcement. Your referee will bring both boxers to the centre of the ring. I'm sure you'll agree. Everyone in this copper box here tonight, both boxers. KSI in the foreground, the referee holding his glove, which is emblazoned with all the things he was going to do to Joe in this fight, all the things that he promised he would do, and ultimately what he delivered on. Incredible scenes here from KSI. Look how relieved he looks. Look how happy he is that everything that he said. was forced to stop the contest. Your winner by way of TKO. From Rockford, let's hear it for the Nightmare KSI. KSI gets the, the championship belt. Put around his None other than one waist. of the greatest heavyweights ever to rock up from our shores. World heavyweight contender. How do you feel? I talk the talk. Now walk the walk, motherfucker. Yo, 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 
On the roll, though. Joe, you're way harder. You're way tougher than I thought. And fair play, bro. Respect for it. Respect for you getting in the ring. And giving me a, a tough battle, bro. Yeah. bro thank you bro sarah she was my nutritionist thank you leon thank you for destroying me and sparring and helping me <laughs> defeat anything and of course vidal riley remember that name ladies and gentlemen everyone came out today to support they're the true winners everyone that tra traveled they're the true winners shout out to all the fans that have my back from day one y'all Day one. Who's the athlete now? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Joe. I don't like you, but I like what you stand for. Okay? Mental, mental illness is a real thing, ladies and gentlemen. And I want this event to showcase, to showcase that anyone who's suffering from mental illness, you are not alone. Okay? And you should never, ever, ever give up. Okay? All my life. All my I proved them wrong. Same. Same with the music. People said I couldn't do music. And you know what? I proved them all wrong. I came out to a song featuring Big Sue, one of the most underrated crime artists today. And he was with me for all of Before this fight, you had something planned. This belt right now, if any YouTuber wants it, you can come get it. Jake Paul, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Bring it. Say, yo, if any celebrity wants it, yo, where's Rio? Where's Rio Ferdinand? If Rio wants it, I know you're doing your Betfair thing. If you want to. Enjoyed the the show. Congratulations, Joe. Commiserations, Joe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Everybody, your winner, KSI. Champion steps. Like I said, I thought we did everything we uh, we could do to defeat uh, JJ in this fight. Um, but at the end of the day, he's prevailed. He's a heavy hitter. Those blows, they stun you, you know what I mean? Um, so 100% respect, JJ's taking this seriously, he's put in the work, and uh, yeah, that power is lethal. Um, but regardless, regardless, I've taken something much bigger away from this whole I'm still happy. You have a lot of people here right now who love you. I'm one of them. What do you want to say to all your fans out there who've come here to support you? I just want to say, I respect every single one of you. The support you show... ...are loyal and you support and it's just, honestly, it's incredible and I, I just want to say a thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your fighters, KSI, Joe Weller. Well done, lads. Two incredible contenders there. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give a big round of applause for both boxers and, of course, your winner. Nightmare, KS. Upload events. We'd like to wish you a very good weekend. What is left of it, we sincerely hope you have a very, very safe journey home and enjoy the rest of what promises to be a great Saturday night. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for. Again, real soon. Let's chat.